Hi everyone. So today I just kind of want to go over really quickly um, as far as my diet because I have I did mention that I am doing keto uh, Monday through Saturday, cycling with a free feed day, and then also um, someone asked an email about um, what did I exactly did I mean by I am not going to be using protein so much in my diet. The reason is because. I have a cold, as you all know, and it's very mucusy and gross. And one of the contributing factors to mucus is actually milk products or whey products. So I'm going from two protein shakes a day to one. Currently, only I'm having one MTS protein shake in the morning, um, taking the probiotic, and that's about the only change. I'm not just taking out protein completely out of my diet. I don't think. Um, low protein diets are the best in my case i'm on a keto diet so it's obviously a higher fat moderate to moderate and low um protein carb so everyone's different those that have high protein and obviously you're going to need a lot more um protein uh, macros in your diet you're going to go on ahead and you know probably consider implementing um mts products aka our protein more than once a day obviously so i always say post-workout is great um if you don't have a big appetite in the morning a shake's the way to go like myself you know just if you're trying to gain muscle mass and you can't quite get all those calories from eating all that food definitely implement a shake um, we also do sell mass gainers as well that are online and available so if you go to my link in the description below um again use amber as five percent off and you can get um you know yourself a nice little five pound tub or we also choose as well sell two pounders um but i would just commit to the five because honestly they're all they all taste amazing so it's not like you're gonna get a bad flavor <coughs> so going back circling back um to the whole keto thing so what i was saying earlier was i'm doing keto monday through saturday so basically um in the morning like i was said uh, MTS protein shake, which is one scoop of, I'll do um, vanilla, iso vanilla, banana cream pie, or cookies and cream. Um, those are my top three right now. I also have iso chocolate in the background here because I am going to be making karakoris, um, protein, what is it, bark? Protein bark, yes, chocolate bark. And because it's going to fit perfectly for me because I'm on a keto diet and it requires coconut oil and protein, so that'll be perfect. Got a little off track, sorry. But yeah, so I use those three flavors in the morning. Um, if I'm using the ISO, I usually do half of an avocado, which seems kind of taboo, but trust me, it's really good. Um, take it from a Hispanic from California. It's amazing. I just mixed vanilla protein, uh, or sorry, vanilla ISO protein with the machine ISO. <clears throat> just I guess you get that little bit of, you know, fats out of there, out of there. And it's easier for me to digest. I don't have to necessarily take probiotic with that one. Um, avocado, half of an avocado, about a cup of almond milk, and then ice and just blend it up. It's amazing. And then with the banana cream pie and the cookies and cream, those ones I'll throw like peanut butter in the shake. You know, same thing. Ice, cup of almond milk blended that's it so that's pretty basic and you can pretty much do it with all of our flavors i've also gotten kind of crazy and i've mixed um what did i mix last time i think i did i did banana cream pie i did like some weird combo but i'll do like all different kinds of combos so like banana cream pie and blueberries is good oh my god it was so taboo i want to remember it was like red velvet and it might have been red velvet in the chocolate or no it was red velvet cookies and cream mint i believe i think is what i did anyway i just remember it was really good pretty much you can mix them all together sometimes i get kind of crazy <laughs> with it like i'll do like apple pie blueberry apple pie with you know banana like whatever i'm really in the mood for but it's, like i said it doesn't matter what you mix they're all really good um okay sorry um is my filler word. I'm trying to cut it out so if my videos seem choppy. It's because I'm cutting out the word um because it causes me to think instead of just pausing and recollecting my thoughts. <laughs> Which I'm working on, babe. I know he's watching and thinking the same thing. <clears throat> but back to topic. So that's meal one. 
MTS shake. I get, you know, mix them up. I uh, put a fat in there, and peanut butter or avocado. Next on the list, I have been doing the egg muffin bacon cups. So basically I took two egg whites, one whole egg and one strip of bacon, and I cut that up. I baked it into like these cute little like muffins. And then uh, I eat two of those a day. And they're really good. Um, I love them because I love bacon and it's cool that I can eat bacon now. Meal three is two ounces of chicken, 85 grams of green beans, one ounce of peanuts, and two ounces of avocado. That's currently right now. I switched it up between that and um, four ounces of beef and 85 grams of green beans. <clears throat> Or I'll eat like a stir fry and then add in, you know, coconut oil, whatever it is to, to equivalent the same macros. Um, so then my meal four is the beef one that I actually just said I switch off and on with meal three. So meal three and four I kind of switch on and off between what it is. Um, if I do end up having the beef one instead, I'll eat, you know, like eggs with ghee butter or something like that. I always keep the same vegetable, 85 grams portion each meal because in reality it's less than 10 grams of carbs you know and it doesn't really matter which vegetable you like I like green beans right now because it is not adding a whole lot of protein which I'm kind of keep trying to keep my protein on the lower end I'm trying to keep it between 100 and 115 instead of you know between one closer to the 160 side which is what I was doing previously just because I'm like I said I'm not really lift Ding. I'm lifting three times a day, or sorry, three times a day, three times a week. Two of the days it's actual like lift days, and it's not even really heavy because I'm injured, so I can't really do a lot. But as far as the other days, I'm doing cardio, so I don't. I need that. I need the protein to keep the muscle that I do have, but I don't need that excessive amount because I'm not really building at this time. I'm just trying to pull the fat stores that I do have and keep what I currently have. So ultimately just like a weight loss. So yeah, and then feel five, it really depends on um, how my other three meals are structured, you know, two, three, and four. Um, but meal five is usually, um, you know, I usually have a lot of protein left over. So I'll, I'll make um, MTS ice cream, MTS sludge, um, the protein bar, uh, something like that. Or if I feel like I'm feeling a little hungry, which hasn't been the case lately because I've been sick, um, <clears throat> I'll have you know more chicken or beef. Or... Sometimes I have a surplus of fats at the end of the day, and I just eat a tablespoon of peanut butter, which some people may think is gross, but I love peanut butter. But now I'm at the point where I'm getting sick of it. Like I'm over it at this point, but. I'm gonna experiment a little bit more and see like where what else I can get my fats out of because I mean I love avocados but I don't want to burn those out either because I did that uh, two years ago I burned out avocados and I was like so sick of avocados which is so weird because I grew up eating them but yeah so that's kind of like where I'm at right now with the keto dieting so I do that like I said Monday through Saturday and then on Sunday um, in the morning I'll eat same concept, uh, I'll have a shake. If I don't feel like eating a shake, I'll make it into like protein pancakes. Um, and I'll add a, a rice cake with that. Then my meal two, it's, I try to keep my meal two post-workout and try to get my workout in a little bit earlier, depending on if I work out that, well, I have to work out the day because it's a refeed day, but depending on what time. So um, it'll be about a half a cup of uncooked oatmeal and then I cook that up or I'll eat grits or cream of rice, you know, something yummy and warm and healthy. And then meal three, I add in chicken with rice. And then meal four is my chi, whatever I feel like having, which actually lately I haven't really been craving anything at all. I get, again, because I've just been so sick that I honestly just haven't really been in the mood um, to eat. So that's why shakes actually have been helping. But again, like, the mucus is so bad. It was so bad the other day, I literally. Ah, uh, it was gross. Let's just say throwing up phlegm is not fun. Ugh. But yeah, once I get back to 100%, which should be at the end of the week because I have a Z-Pack I'm taking, it'll be game back on and um, 
this little bugger's been bothering me all day today, but I think like I think the weather is not helping the situation. We've been like raining off and on, and it's awful. And I'm just uh, my God, I'm ready for summer so my joints can be like heated up, and then I'm sweating to death, dying. But that's way better than <laughs> freezing to death, in my opinion. So. <clears throat> Um, other updates, um, just to kind of keep you guys in the loop, I ha have ordered a Lux Light, which I can't remember who makes it. I'll find out once I get it. Uh, Chris actually bought it for me. Basically, it's uh, to simulate the sunlight, and it's to help people that have SAD kind of feel more calm and relaxed and put them back into the state that they're supposed to be in um, instead of you know, keeping them down in the blues, especially since up in the northeastern hemisphere here, we don't really get a whole lot of sun during the winter. So I think that'll really help. It's a 10,000, I forgot, UV, no, it's not a UV. I think it's a, it's a, just a 10,000 lux, like that's the watt or volt or whatever. I have to know the exact terminology, which I will once I have it, and I'll show you guys exactly what it is because I think it's actually really cool. Um, his Chris's parents' dog actually, um, he's depressed, so he they got him this little light, and I guess it works. They said it works. I've never seen the animal use a human thing before, so I'm not sure exactly if it works, but I will tell you once I get mine. It should be coming this week, so I'm actually kind of excited for that. No other updates other than I'm really sick still. I'm getting better. I'm feeling a little better. I actually took today off from work, so I'm gonna kind of make a series of different videos since I have the extra time finally. So sorry if the next like five videos my hair's up. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm gonna post five videos, but you never know. And uh, just kind of go from there. What else can I tell you? That's pretty much it really. Um, I mean, it's April. And showering, hopefully May flowers come. My birthday's coming up. I'm gonna be 28. That's two more years closer to 30. And I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because at 28, I didn't think I'd be where I'm at now, but I'm definitely better off than I thought I would have been. <laughs> so I can't complain too much. But anyway, guys, again, um, if you want to email me any questions instead of leaving comments, because I know sometimes comments you don't want to be, you know, the trolls out there, you don't want them invading. Email is amberee at mtsnutrition.com. I usually check it pretty daily, so please, you know, send any questions or comments you have there. If you don't want to go ahead and leave them down below, like, comment, subscribe, dislike. Please let me know. If you like this channel, if you don't like the channel, what else you'd kind of like me to touch on. I'm going to kind of keep it like a day in the life of Amber. Just like a daily vlog, but not a daily vlog because it's not going to be daily, but it's like a vlog, a lifestyle vlog. There you go. It's a lifestyle vlog because I believe that your life should not be 100% focused only on one category, meaning only bodybuilding because what about your friends and your loved ones and your work and your job and all these other things that you you know you care about and love? I'm going to try and incorporate it all as a whole. For more of your fitness information, you can also check out Cara Corey's vlog as well. She has some really good bikini tips in there as she is a bikini pro. Um, I'll leave her link down below. So check out Mark Lobeliner's channel. Uh, Tiger Fitness. He's got a series going on called Behind the Hustle, which I have actually been watching. And it gives a lot of good positivity, motivation, and tips on how to live a successful life with both balance and between your family, fitness, and business, which is awesome because that's what we're about. We're about balance. We're not about, you know, sticking to one track line because unfortunately, trees have roots and the roots are multiple. It's not just one log in the dirt. So, you want to thrive, you got to spread out those branches and those roots and just grow. And that's how we grow. So check them out. I'll leave both of the links down below. Again, if you guys are ordering any MTS products on your next purchase, use code word AMBER for 5% off. In the meantime, take care, guys.